Welcome back to Let's Play with Honey in Minecraft. As you can see, I've got 35 levels of experience. I have been working on it and working on it and working on it. So there you go. And I'm about to go ahead and leave for a little bit. So I thought I would just come in here and give you a quick update. Let's see. I also want to make a couple of signs because I need to show you guys some new locations I've got here. I've got to show you Oust and Green Bear Park. It's beautiful places. So, that's done. That's done. Let's take care of the signage real quick. And then I'll yak at you on my way home. I think I'll stick it there. Get it? Oust! One wolf spider spotted trap. Otherwise known as... Oust! Oust! <laughs> okay, that's for you, Mr. One Wolf. Uh, he has no idea I'm doing that. Um, it's something that I just struck me as I was uh, down there forever. Uh, how much I appreciate you guys and talking with my uh, different subscribers and people who've commented. And uh, Mr. One Wolf has been very prolific with the comments. And I've really had a great time. So... Uh, it's one of the main things I did to take breaks was I'd hop in my channel and uh, uh, and chat and check my mail. I also uh, went to a couple of streams and that was a lot of fun. And uh, I cleaned my desk, <laughs> made some uh, progress on a pile of paperwork I needed to take care of and uh, oddball things like that right here. Uh, let's center it. Captain Green Bear Park. Perfect. Got a nice lush park here, Captain Green Bear. Uh, Captain Green Bear actually is another subscriber, but uh, he's been uh, there before kind of the, the push of subscribers and uh, been watching Siberia and we've had uh, some talk about that gave me actually some information that I didn't know so that's great too if you guys want to check out their sites I encourage you to they are uh, they'll be in the the uh, links of the uh, they'll be in the comment section here of my video uh, mr. one wolf actually runs a minecraft YouTube and um, captain green bear does some um, let's playing for the adventure stuff too so anyway I'm going to go ahead and get ready to move locations. And I'm moving because greater minds than me. Oh yeah, watch. Shift. Click. I love that. I love that. I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, greater minds than me have figured out the experience. And what you need for not you, you. What you need to get experience. And it turns out that uh, aggressive mobs in general give you five experience each. Uh, magma cubes, which fluctuate depending on what size they are when you kill them, uh, range. And blaze give you ten each. And I have got myself a beautiful setup with a couple of blaze spawners. So I'm going to go, of all things, back to the nether. And I'm going to do that. Ta da! I need just exactly four. That's perfect. To get experience at my two blaze spawners. And I'm getting the glass because I'm actually going to change my blaze spawner. And I'm going to allow two locations for it to spawn to hopefully increase my. Um, oops, I've been making. <laughs> I have been making swords for too long. To hopefully increase my. Um, spawn time at the blaze and that will help out all the way around I'm thinking but before I do that I'm going to need to get some cobblestone because I'm going to gas proof it I'm going to basically wall myself in and uh, throw up a couple of doors just so I can see out 
and go back to the nether. Hopefully in a safe sort of a way. <laughs> anyway, I'll check back in with you guys when I am out there changing up the uh, spawner so you see what I'm talking about. See you in a bit. <laughs> Alright, so we are back. I see all you beautiful pigmen. I am not even touching you guys. And it's because they have a social range which is really pretty big. And since they will just keep coming and keep coming, I'm not even messing with them right now. So here we are. We're back at the blaze spawner. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to deactivate that one so they can't spawn in there. Get this one prepped. There we go. Pop. One second and I will kill you, Blaze. I'm going to do the same thing there. And pop. Ta-da! can actually break you and do that. So now I have two places that they can spawn and I can just stand here and kill them. Step in the middle, get all their bits. Ta-da! Pretty easy, huh? Do the same thing up here. I do want to be careful not to give them the opportunity to uh, spawn until I've got it locked down the way I want it. Oh! Alright, you have to die because I didn't do you right. And the reason I still want to have um, the middle one out is really simply because I don't want to uh, to not be able to get my bits. Ta-da! And if you have the glass right there in the middle, well, then you're going to be hard-pressed if one dies there to get your stuff. You'll be kind of hoping it scooches over here or scooches over there. So there we go. That was pretty painless, huh? Now, I'm going to go through here, smooth out the, the differential between the two, and of course, it's time to make the tunnel. So I'll come back and give you a tour when I've got some experience and the tunnel's all done and and uh, see how it goes. Not bad. Alright, I just made a trip home. As you can see, I've got lots of uh, glass. And on my way back down, these two patches and the patches up by my safe base were completely ready. So I just went ahead and harvested that up. I want to give you a quick tour of what I've done. As you can see, I've got 41 levels of experience, so quite a bit. And all I've done is just take what I needed to come through here. I did put in a couple of windows. Looks nice. It's also convenient to see when there's a giant bouncing magma cube ready to jump on your head. So here are my uh, spawners. Like I said, I smoothed it out. You can actually see pop just like that. You can see them spawn from all the way over there. And typically as long as I stand in the middle I can uh, guarantee I'll be able to trigger both of them and we're good to go. Let me just hop out here real quick and show you this side. So there you go. This is how it looks. And while I've been running back and forth killing blazes, I've been thinking. And I've been thinking if two is so much better than one, how much better would it be to change it around some more? How much better would three be? Or four be? Can you even do four? Well, I think you can. Pretty much we have to go four out from each side of the spawner. Well, that's eight plus the zero spawner row. 
So it's basically a nine by nine square plus four high that they can spawn in. And since this is the spawner layer, it's four high above there. So it's really by five tall. So with those numbers in mind, I think I'm going to need like uh, 178 glass, which is not quite three full stacks. So I'm going to take, I ran home and I got four full stacks. Well, just because. I might break glass and I'd rather not go back home. I've also grabbed my nether brick because I'm going to want to make a bunch more stairs and I really don't have any cobble left and I don't feel like using up my wood right now just for a bunch of stairs. Besides, I think the nether brick looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and start building uh, a much bigger option for farming spawns, uh, blaze spawns. I guess maybe the ultimate blaze spawner for experience? We'll have to see how it turns out. I think, theoretically in my head anyway, I think I can get four spawns, potential spawn locations per side all the way around. You'll see what I mean. I'll come back and give you a tour of the finished product. And meanwhile, the whole time I'm doing that, hopefully I'll be able to continue gaining experience and that will help me along the way to get to that 50. Nothing else, it gives me something to do while I kill plays. So I'll be back in a little bit and we'll see how it works out. Well, there it is. Isn't it pretty? They seem to spawn mostly on the area that I am at, so we're all filled over there. But here you go, I stood over there purposely so you could see the reason I made it glass in this second layer all the way through. So you can see when something is up. And then you can just step in and kill it. Isn't that beautiful? And then they have a chance to spawn over there or spawn in any of these others. There's a total of 16 available uh, legal places for them to spawn. So since it's controlled and they are forced to stay here and they can't hurt you, oh, there's another one. There you go. They just keep coming. Now, I probably don't actually need the full 16 spots since you can't have 16 up at any one time. But there you go. Meanwhile, these two up here are probably popped. Yep. I'm going to do the same exact thing over here. Thank you. And then, between the two, I'll be able to just pretty much constantly be killing. And since this is all glass from up above when I'm at that one, I can look down and see when something is up. Now another thing you could do with this, if you didn't want it to be glass, or if you wanted uh, just to be fancy, you could actually put pressure plates down so when they spawn, the uh, uh, you could use redstone and pressure plates and make an indicator, a redstone indicator, when something is uh, there and which one it's on. I think the glass works just fine. You can see straight through it, know what's coming. Of course, my uh, my windows are completely uh, wonky now. I may have to do a little bit of of uh, maintenance in here. This one's not terrible, but look at this one. This is where my landing used to be. Now I feel like a little kid getting up on my tippy toes. It's not terrible. I might just increase it one down there. But anyway, here you go. That is my ultimate blaze uh, for experience setup. And again, you probably don't need the full 16. You could have probably done it with 12. You know, three on each side. And even two on each side is probably ample since it doesn't have... Um, since it doesn't have the ability to have all the 16 slots filled. 
but this gives it a chance every single one of those spots of those 16 possible places to spawn so if you have to uh, step away for a minute you're not just gonna have one or two available you may have five or six queued up and ready waiting not bad by the time you finish killing this round the other round is full and ready I like it hope you guys had a good time I had a lot of fun even though it was a little bit dangerous setting this up live. <laughs> anyway, until next time guys. Bye.